Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, breastfeeding isn't allowed if you're a teen mom. My mom won't take responsibility for what she and my stepdad put me through. Update, my father has full custody. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Breastfeeding isn't allowed if you're a teen mom. So back in high school one of my closest friends got pregnant and gave birth to the sweetest baby boy. She stopped going to school for a while to take care of her kid but still did online school so she could graduate with her class. One thing we would do is go to one of the local food places near the high school on Fridays and today we decided to go to this nice Chinese place that I frequent regularly and the little old Asian lady knows me by name. This Chinese place has a sticker on the front door that says something like breastfeeding will always be allowed which is great since that's what my friend is more comfortable doing for her baby. After we ordered our food and hung out in this little waiting area when the baby gets all fussy. She takes out the little cover and covers her baby and her chest as she starts to feed him. We keep talking until this woman and her son who had to be around 10 comes in. I recognize the kid as one of the kids I looked after when I used to volunteer at a youth center. He comes up to me and starts talking to me and then asks my friend what she's doing with the baby. Before my friend could answer the boy's mother cuts in. A disgusting thing is what she's doing. Don't you know better than to do that in public? And why are you even doing that if you're only a kid? My friend has an attitude sometimes so I try to jump in before she would start to throw things. It's not illegal. And Mrs. L is fine with it. She has a sticker on the door. Mrs. L being the little old Asian lady by the counter who was just doodling the baby a second ago. She smiles at us and continues to write some stuff down. The mother wasn't happy about this and continues with her BS. I'm sorry, but I'm just not okay with a baby breastfeeding another baby. Can you please just stop? She says in frustration. Mrs. L finally cuts in and in her broken English she says nursing baby is a beautiful thing. You have problem, you leave. She then taps the order on the window that leads to the kitchen and apologizes to my friend for the woman's nasty behavior. She then looks at the boy who is still next to me and says jokingly. Your mother, she dummy right? This makes the boy laugh and the mother just grumble in her seat trying to stay as far from us as she could. When my friend finished and we grabbed our food Mrs. Yell threw in an extra order of eggs rolled since they were my friend's favorite. Everything was fine until Monday came and I saw the boy again. He pulls me off to the side and tells me that his mom said she doesn't like me or my friend. I just ask him if he still likes me and he says yes. Yay! Lolt hat Chinese owner Mrs. L is funny towards the end. Your mother, she dummy right? She's one of those little old Asian lattice who will say whatever they want lol. Halfway through the post I was worried the Chinese women was going to be the asshole of the story and was worried it was going to be another case of one bad apple giving Asian people a bad reputation. But luckily it was the complete opposite. You keep on taking no shit, Chinese restaurant woman. Why are you doing that if you are a kid? Because children with teenage parents still experience hunger, you jagweed. And minors can still be arrested for not feeding their kid. It cracks me up when someone who speaks English as a second language, particularly older Asian ladies, throw shade like this. Nothing passive-aggressive about them. She even covered it up so it's not like she had her breasts hanging out lol and every mother, including animals breastfeed. People need to mind their own business. Air baby was hungry so she fed it. My mom won't take responsibility for what she and my stepdad put me through. I, 15M, stopped living with my mom and stepdad, 42F and 58M, in April due to both of them being abusive the basis of the abuse is that my my stepdad was more around physical and my mom was mostly mental slash emotional. 
Oftentimes my stepdad would tell me he'd cave in my chest and the one time he said I swear to god on my mom I'll break your neck because I ate a sweet potato pie, granted I was being selfish and ate it like nobody else lived with us anyways, both him and my mother didn't really do much as there was a bit of neglect in there as well. Fast forward to court in July and me and my father go in so he can get full custody, my mom thought it was a good idea to bring my stepdad as a witness. Now keep in mind both of them are abusive but are manipulative, a funny thing though, my mom wanted my dad to pitch in and help when I was living with her, financially and such, but all of a sudden my mom doesn't want to help us at all financially me and my father may be a bit well off but I need money for clothes and such. The main event leading me to live with my dad was in April when my stepdad rose up as if he'd punch me because I said I didn't like him either, the kicker is the fact that my mom said I ran to my dad in that situation, in which I did. However, my mom tried gaslighting me into thinking it's my fault that we don't have an emotional relationship despite her actions shifting my opinion on whether I should have won with her am I in the wrong at all? Now your mom and stepdad are crazy. You've been saved from their abuse. Yeah they both are, my mom has diagnosed BPD and my stepdad told her to get off her meds. They both also smoke weed, with me and my younger brother, 11M, in the house. Yup. You are old enough to pick which parent you live with. I hope your dad gets some child support because it would punish your abusive mom and stepfather. Whether or not you can prove the abuse, at 15 you're old enough to decide which parent you want to live with. If your dad is well off, leave your mom and stepdad in your rearview mirror and don't even worry about child support. Update, my father has full custody. So yesterday went smoothly, as usual the judge told me to step outside of the courtroom, but overall my dad got full custody the original joint custody that he had was given to my mother so I have to arrange some things now even though I'll never visit. Turns out, she brought a notarized letter from my stepdad for some reason and thanks to my dad I found out the judge didn't read it out loud. However my mom tried to paint a picture, she even said that she wanted me in therapy and on medication, she was heavily against me being on medication while living with her, one small issue, due to my dad not filing for child support earlier he's going to file for it sometime soon thank you for all of your words, I appreciate it. Glad you got out. I would ask your dad if you could get some counseling to help you deal with the abuse that you have suffered. Good luck. Glad your dad got full custody of you and courts got it on record how terrible your egg donor and her husband were to you. Hope you get enjoy happy days with your dad and good luck to you in any future endeavors. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.